It would be like boiling a frog alive, which is done by raising the temperature very slowly. Being cold-blooded, the frog does not notice the temperature increase, but if the temperature is raised suddenly, the frog will jump out of the water. These are the words of South Africa's president, Cyril Ramaphosa. He meant that the black majority would pass laws transferring wealth, land and economic power from white to black, slowly and incrementally, until the whites lost all they have gained in South Africa, but without taking too much from them at any given time to cause them to rebel or fight. All land in South Africa, all of it, belongs to us and all of it was stolen from us. And when I say us, I'm talking about black people in this country. The taking of land from the indigenous people of this country was the original sin. The Zulu kingdom must never allow white people to put it against the black majority. No one is going to take land from Zulu people. These are white people who are still owning our land. It is only through the expropriation of land without compensation that our people will be the rightful owners of this country. The South African Parliament has voted in favour of new legislation that could see land seized from white farmers. Under the plans, white farmers will be stripped of their land with no compensation, although this does run against the constitution, which would have to be amended. White people arrived here from Europe in 1652. They killed our people, they stole our land, they oppressed us. All the land they have is land that uh, was uh, taken from us by force and uh, in many instances by massacres. We all visitors to South Africa, including the, the black tribes of South Africa that came from the north, that is well documented. We don't back whites, we don't care about their feelings. They must be happy, we are not beating them up. They must be happy, we are not calling for genocide. <laughs> Almost 400 years ago, a criminal by the name of Jan van Riebeck landed in our native land. It's a fact that land must be returned back to those who are landless. We don't know what peace looks like. They've been living peacefully. They've been swimming in a pool of privilege. They've been enjoying themselves because they always owned our land. When Jan van Riebeck landed in the Western Cape, our problems began. The return of the land to the people from whom it was taken speaks to precisely how we, what we need to do to heal the divisions of the past. We are not calling for the slaughtering of white people, at least for now. <laughs> It is clear that the South African government's push for expropriation without compensation is founded in a racist sentiment and a distortion of history. While the primary targets of this policy are clearly white farmers, the primary victims might just as well be all the people of South Africa.